we wanted to transform the house so as to be as energy efficient as possible and we're very pleased that we've succeeded in producing a house that uses 60% less carbon than other houses of this kind. One of the main things we did was to insulate the inside of all the external walls, wrapping the inside of the house with a tea cosy and we put 100 mil of insulation on the outside of the walls, which is this space here. The material we used was this, which is expanded wood fibre, which comes in big sheets with a tongue and groove so that it fits together nice and snugly. We wanted to keep the house feeling like a Victorian house, so where possible we kept all the original cornices and where we had to, as for example where the insulation was done, we renewed the cornices and these were done by a specialist plaster firm. In the living room we took up the old wood floor, insulated underneath it using the same wood fibre insulation that we used in the walls and put down a new wooden floor from using sustainable timber. We did however decide not to take up the original tiles in the hall because to have done so would have damaged them irreparably. Because the house is in a conservation area, we wanted to keep the appearance of all the windows in the main part of the building exactly as it was. So we kept the frame, the original frame, and we changed the sashes and had them rebuilt so that they're with, and replaced with double glazed units which are argon filled and also had all the surrounds draft excluded. Where we had to put in new windows in the house, we went for the best windows we could find, which are not only double glazed and argon filled, but they also have particularly good ceiling. All the rooms are light, but the stairwells tend to be fairly dark. So we put phaluxes on the top floor to bring light down, but also onto the first floor, we put a sun pipe to bring light down into the stairwell. So we decided to put in solar panels of the kind which are used just for heating hot water. We hope this will save about three quarters of the energy normally used for heating hot water within a house. Doing an environmental refurbishment of this house was a real voyage of discovery. On the whole, it's been hard work, but something that was worth doing. This house is part of a group of exemplar houses brought together by the Sustainable Energy Academy. This project is part of the Old Home Super Home campaign to reduce carbon emissions from existing houses by 60%.